Yeah, good evening, Ali and Angelica. That's right. It's Choice. happening just like that. They're calling these businesses, demanding money because their bills are overdue. And these scammers are going for the big fish. They were slick. They offer a little discount. They had a 307 area code on their phone number. They were good. These scammers were close to swindling a good chunk of Charlie's hard-earned money. Charlie T's Pizzeria, this is Charlie. Restaurant right now is my life. Uh, uh, my soul is invested. My money's invested. Charlie, who recently expanded his pizzeria and now has bigger bills, admits he bought their story and took the money out of the bank for his so-called overdue bill. Financially, numerically, it kind of made sense to me. If a scam's going to make sense to you at all. He, again, he had a good mark. He didn't know how good I was. And Charlie T's isn't the only business getting calls from these con artists. He says, um, I'm with the power company and there's a discrepancy in your bill. Uh, we do not have records of your last month's payment. And uh, if you don't turn it in, we're going to shut your lights off by noon. I'm a restaurant. I'm freaking out. These scammers who have both local and out of the area phone numbers seem to be preying on local restaurants. They're playing on these companies that they hope that have large accounts is what they're doing. He gave such a short window of being able to get the information from him and getting an arrangement to pay him. Law enforcement says the calls are untraceable and likely from out of the area. Businesses should keep an eye on the phone numbers coming in to help avoid being tricked. They find the right person, they're going to get some money, you know, and all they're doing is making quick and simple phone calls. You should always ask for your account number from these people, and I wasn't thinking about that when I, when I first talked to them because I panicked. Now, we spoke with a representative from Rocky Mountain Power this afternoon. They say they acknowledge this is happening and warn people this is not the way they would go about collecting past due bills. When in doubt, they say just give them a call. Reporting live from the studio, Liz Cooper, K2.